Improve the system used to place ability to target at ground locations. This update should make it easier to find valid placement location tight spaces. Okay. That's a very nice change because it's finally fixing like the all the problems with the shrouded step from Omen that was like too big um to like go through like small corridors you couldn't like tp through that uh, it's very actually important for the omens viper spit is the same like the corridor like the, the the crosser doesn't go through like small gaps you know um trademark rendezvous that's the same like is you guys remember how many times i just legit just put a fucking uh, uh um tp from from chamber and it wasn't in the place i wanted it to put right because it's too big that's that's the thing that is being fixed here so it's very important. This is very important. Omen. As, a, as strategic diversity in Valand evolves, Omen has struggled to find this place within the meta. Many of you in Django enjoy his gameplay loop, but have found it increasingly difficult to justify his selection in higher tiers of play. Want to increase his reliability as a controller by rolling back a selection of early nerfs to dark cover and sharper his combat, com co combat focus abilities. Cooldown decreased, oh my, on 30 seconds smoke. That is insanely huge. Cost increase from 100 to 150, that's fine. Like, this is this is nuts. 10 seconds is absolutely nuts. His smoke is 12 seconds. So, um... This is absolutely nuts. Like, when you use your last smoke, you, use, you have your next smoke in 18 seconds. That's absolutely insane. He, he's gonna be so good at controlling, like, an example split with one race. Like, just like Boncold does. Um, it, it's gonna be massive. And the projectile speed increase. Oh my, it's three times faster. Holy. Oh my. Pre teleport delay decreased by 300 milliseconds. Very sexy again. It's the omens and looks nice. Omen Added looks very, very forward good. spawn like, offset like so players omen. adjusting the omen are not hit. They, they just they get that, got Astra a very good. A very, very wait, wait, nice I'm, 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 I'm reading Omen. I'm going by one by one. Um, added forward spawn offset, so players... Uh, I can read it out loud as well for you if you want. Um, if not, then tell I'm me not. I'm seeing it myself. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it myself. Okay, then I'm reading it out and reacting to this, to the stream, okay? Um, so players adjacent to Omen are not hit. Added, added forward spawn offset. Okay, so the paranoia still hits uh, teammates, but not in the close corners of it. Uh, you know? So it's like, it probably starts a little bit forward in front of you, you know? So this is pretty nice, this is pretty nice. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's a small nerf. Because if someone is like next to you, then you need to go backwards to flash him, you know? So it's like a, it's like a nerf and a buff at the same time. You need to pay attention to it, how do you play it. And it, in, in a situation when someone is very close to you, then that paranoia will not work on him. Okay, Brimston. Brimston is in a healthy spot overall, but he wasn't performing well in scenarios where he think he should excel. The limitations of the smoke deployment and his steam beacon versatility were leaving him too constrained. With these changes, we're hoping Brimston will be a competitive choice on healthy portion of the map pool. Deploy time decreased from two to one seconds. Fantastic. Now that uh, that allows you to be way faster on, on the executions. Deploy radius increased by ten percent. Okay, that doesn't matter as much as this one. Smoked height increased to match auto controls. That's nuts. Now, he has definitely the best smokes in the game. 19.2 um, duration of the smokes, and he, they're as big as auto controllers. Like, that's insane. Biggest smokes and the longest smokes in the game. Brimstone is nuts. And 10% uh, more um, range and faster deploy time. That is absolutely insane. Now also applies 50% speed boost in addition to rapid fire. Speed boost? Running faster? What? What the hell? Okay, we have to check this out, how this looks in game, because I wonder how much um, the buff stays in the game after you leave the, the, the zone of the, of the Steam Beacon, you know? 
Like that's that's uh like you can ma like you can swing dude this is so steam beacons if you're gonna play omen sorry if you're gonna play brimstone you're standing let's say they smoke you if you execute an attack you execute a site okay so you stand in a smoke because your opponent smoked you off you put the steam beacon and you wide swing because of the speed boost you know so you just go out from it you feel ferrari peak because of the steam beacon like brimstone is gonna be nuts Holy crap. Like, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be so hard to stop. Like, you're just gonna push with the steam beacon. You just put the steam beacon in... in, in like, you can even smoke yourself. You you do like a... Look, I'll show you on Valorplant. What you're gonna do, in example, is this. Let's say we're attacking heaven. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, what, what? Did you say something? Like, I heard something. No, no, no. Uh, uh, or maybe I was writing something. Yeah, yeah, Um, I'm just talking to the chat. Like, maybe it's easy for you if you listen to what I'm saying in chat. Um, right, I'm going for it. Wait. So, let's say we're attacking a site on Ascent as Brim. So, we do this. Uh, we do smoke here, right? This. We do... Uh, wait, where is it? Here. Smoke this. And the third one... We do this, right? So we do this, essentially, right? And then we put the steam beacon somewhere here. And you just wide swing from every single angle. From every single angle, you can just wide swing, you know? You pop flash, you wide swing, you have speed boost. No one is able to, like, stop you because you're just in such an off angle. That's it, you know? Like, you can do similarly like like here, you know? It's like, you just put the steam beacon like this, you smoke here, so you have wider out, out um, you have wider out, you know? You do this, as an execute from Brimstone. And you just wide swing as well. And it's essentially it. It's so hard to stop you from, from lane, because you can just go out here, you know, and just check the angles and everything. It's, uh, it's actually... Insane. It's actually insane. Alright. And they're bigger now. So so you can actually smoke properly because they are bigger. So Brimstone looks like absolutely insane for, for a competitive. With the mastery of Astra play pattern over time, she's become an overwhelming force in both coordinate and high MMR play. She's crowded out Brimstone and Omen by replicating their strengths, and they simply couldn't keep up with what map-wide impact of utility. We're taking steps to create clearer relative weaknesses and an attempt to carve more space for auto controllers. This starts by reducing her overall utility output and increasing her ability cooldown, in the hopes that this will increase the importance of each move she makes. Paired with this, we're taking the opportunity to provide some quality of life updates and bug fixes that we feel are long overdue. Max stars reduced from 5 to 4. GG. Cooldown on retrieving a star increased from 14 to 25. GG. Astra can now pick up play stars during the buy phase to refund the charge immediately. Okay, that's nice. Max distance of star placement increased from 10,000 to 30,000 to allow her to place stars across the furthest corners of the maps. Okay. Gravity well. Cooldown increased to 45, alright. Gravity well size decreased and gravity well no longer affects anyone fully underneath the gravity well. Huh? Eh? Gravity well no longer affects anyone fully underneath the gravity well. So if you're standing in the middle, you're not being affected with it, or when you're above, like below it. I feel like it, if you're below it, right, then you're not being affected. So, yeah, if like an example of what we were doing um, a lot, uh, you could do this. You put the gravity well on heaven, right, and it pulls the people in hell, an example. So, th this is actually a huge nerf. Absolutely, insanely huge nerf. Can you even place a star then to affect hell? No, you can't. Because, well, you can. You, you have to, like, kind of 3D it, you know? So you can place it underneath and, or, or on top. Well, that's, um, okay. Nova Pulse 45. Okay, okay. Nebula, <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Bigger smoke. Okay, that's a buff. 
While an astral form pings are no longer blocked by level geometry that astral cannot see, astral's targeting ring and astral form is reduced on one ring that reflects how unified size of the other utility, okay? Because the smoke is bigger now. Uh, so there are no rings, no two rings on the on the um, utility. Astro's targeting ring no longer randomly disappears when aiming across some map locations. Good. Increase the speed of overlay that covers Astro's screen when transitioning in and out of Astro form. Fix an issue where stars were placed slightly above the location Astro was targeting. Uh, that, that sometimes happened like on ascent on mid. Like you were placing a star here and it, for some reason it was on the top of the wall instead of the bottom. So in general, Astro is dead. Like, there's no way that I'm gonna be using, like, if I... If, this is theory crafting because I don't play smokes but there's there's no way I would be using Astra over Brimstone or uh, Omen because I can play for myself with Omen and Astra uh, sorry Omen and Brimstone like there's there's no way in pro play I think both Brimstone and Omen are gonna be more useful uh, because the cooldowns are just so much more important and the 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 smokes from Brimstone are absolutely nuts I don't think you're gonna play Astra now like you can't control the space so much. If you use the, um, if you use the gravity well at the beginning of the round, forty-five seconds gone. That's it. You you can't you can't stop the first uh, the second tempo push. There's no way. Increasing twenty seconds of of the of the cooldown is literally one attack. So if you use your gravity well at the beginning of the round, you don't have anything to stop the push, essentially, when they retake the space. You know, so. A breach just essentially you pushes you out, you know? Um, so it's going to be very tough because now you're going to have to play Astra defensively on site instead of taking space. That's at least my opinion. Um, and you can do this better as a Brimstone or Omen, in my opinion, because Omen now has really insanely, like... Um, really insanely powerful one ways that last 12 seconds and regain every 18 seconds like that's nuts i i say 18 seconds because your cooldown starts when you put the last smoke so you put the smoke right you have 30 seconds but the smoke t has 12 seconds cooldown sorry 12 seconds like actual duration so um the way that you play Omen on, on split by Ascent with Bond called like utility being placed as one ways is gonna be 100% metagame right now. But funnily enough, only Ascent is playing like that. Mm. Viper, okay, let's see if she's dead or not. We like Viper's hybrid controller Sentinel role in the roster, really. But her buffs and our newest map addition to have turned her into a must-have controller and best-in-class Sentinel in more... That's funny because that's literally what I said. You guys remember how I said that Viper is a Sentinel and not a controller? And people were laughing at me? Now you can see that the developers are actually saying best in class Sentinel. In most situations that we think a dual agent role should fill with the below changes, we hope to create stark decision points on when Viper should manage her fuel as well as provide clear counterplay opportunities and attack windows for her enemies. Fuel drain increased by 50% when Toxic Screen and Poison Cloud are both active. Oh, GG, man. Viper's fuel bar now turns red when she does not have enough fuel to activate her abilities. Toxic Screen. Cooldown after deactivating increased 6 to 8 seconds. That's insane. Cooldown timer now starts when her smoke starts dissipating instead of when the deactivation telegraph plays. Cooldown timer now starts when her smoke starts dissipating. Okay. Instead of when the deactivation telegraph plays. That means that she's nerfed here. Because that means that the cooldown timer is not 8 seconds, but it's actually like 9. Deactivation delay increased, decreased by 200 milliseconds. Okay, never mind. Then that's like barely over 8 seconds. Toxic screen now has yellow lights that indicate when it's on cooldown. The icon? Oh, okay, never mind. The actual, the actual, like, physical uh, things on the map, you know, that she puts, uh, puts down. So the opponents will know when the wall is on the cooldown. That is actually a huge nerf. That is actually huge nerfs. That is actually huge nerf. 
Um, remove delay on toxic screen disabling when Viper is suppressed. Remove the delay on toxic screen disabling when uh, Viper is suppressed. Okay, that's a buff, but only against KO. Added a unique voice line that plays when her smoke is disabled by suppress. Okay. Poison Cloud. Cooldown after deactivating, the same as, as uh, toxic screen. Cooldown timer now starts when her smoke starts dissipating um, instead of when the deactivation telegraph plays. That's the same, the activation the same, Poison Orb now has the same yellow light. Uh, okay, it's, like, it's literally the same. So it applies to both. And Snake Bite duration decreased from 6.5 to 5.5. So now, this is not entirely a nerf. This is, this is like a buff slash nerf. Because they didn't say anything about the DPS, that means that her DPS is increasing by default. Because right now she deals 150... 7 or 155 I think or 160 I can't remember but it's like one, uh, let's say 160 damage right she deals 160 damage during the 6.5 seconds that means that when when it's 5.5 seconds that means that you are buffing the the damage by 20% in general in this case you know um the overall damage doesn't increase, but the actual damage over time is faster. But this this is uh, making her... like the, All of this, those changes here that you have in Toxic Screen and Poison Cloud, they don't matter. What matters is this one. This is essentially making Viper very bad. Like... That's insanely bad for her. This. This change. The other ones I can live with. The other ones are fine. I think like that's okay. There's more telegraphic stuff that your opponents can play off and so on. But this, uh, when it comes to the fuel management, I, I feel like 50% as literally, you if you activate your wall and your toxic orb at the same time, that means you're gonna have I wonder how they count it, because it's 15 seconds. So I guess it's 7.5 seconds? It's either 10 it's either ten seconds or 7.5 seconds when you have both active, depending how you count. It, it depends, like, the wording is not clear, so it's either... Uh, it's either 7.5 seconds or 10 seconds. You know, uh, which makes her, if, if that's true, if you're, I mean, let's say it's 10 seconds because eight seconds is nothing. So let's say it's eight seconds. Um, in this case, that's like, it doesn't matter. It's eight or 10 seconds is the worst smoke in the game. So even Omen smoke is 12 seconds. That means that if you wall up and orb at the same time, you have the shortest smoke, which makes Viper almost unusable. In solo queue. In, in VCT, uh, it's like, I guess you can live with it if at some point Jet will get nerfed. So, th this is terrible. This is, this is absolutely terrible for, for Vipers. Like, you, you won't be able to play the same way you played. Like, you were gonna probably, uh, not gonna, like, even if you do a wall up on B, like, on bind, if you do this normal setup, you have, you have a one way for showers, you have a wall on B and A, and you ult mid. You can't control the space anymore. It's, like, really bad. On attack, it's easier but it's still terrible. But on defense, this is like a terrible change for defense. For attack, it's like, let's say you attack Icebox. You, you smoke mid, you do a wall on B, so you activate only the wall and not activate this, the orb on, on mid. So you do it like this. You activate at the beginning of the round, you activate the smoke on mid, you drop it down, then you wall up, and, and, and then you push in on site. You know? It's like, uh, it's gonna be very tough to play Viper now. It's gonna be insanely much more complicated than right now. Because 
finally enough, now the people that thought that the fuel is gonna be drained, uh, that the fuel was drained fast, and now they're gonna be right. Uh, but that means that those people will have very hard time managing the fuel. It's actually it's gonna be insanely demanding from Vipers to properly manage fuel. And also, it's a mechanical problem as well, because my 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 thought process was I always activate toxic screen and um, poison cloud at the same time because I don't have to check my HUD to which one is active and which one is not is not and now I'll have to check that like uh, this is a insanely huge nerf this 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 is insanely huge nerf for defensive vipers. And it's a huge nerve also for attacking vipers, but it's more important for defensive vipers than, than otherwise. So, uh, I don't know, man. Viper is probably only now is going to be only useful on, on Breeze and, um, on Breeze and, and, and Icebox. Because you need, kind of, the util from her there. But I don't think you're going to play her on other maps in this case, because what's the point? You you have much more powerful and self-reliant um, controllers like Brimstone, which now is going to be like, you know, Ferrari peaking. Like, it's going to be nuts. And Brimstone has such much... Like, Brimstone has one of the best ultimates in the game. It's absolutely insane, you know? Alright, Yoru. Um... Deco HP 150. Deco is now a full running version of your. It can only be sent running forward. Right click to place a stationary market for the decoy. Reactivate similar to footsteps to create a decoy that runs forward. Upon taking damage from an enemy gun, the decoy winds up, turns towards the enemy they sh that shot it, and explodes after a short delay. Enemies within the corner are flashed. Did they say if the, if the Yoru has an, an actual weapon equipped? Like, or does it does it always go with a classic? We don't know, right? We'll see. Gate crush costs 200. Cooldown, charge, refresh, remove, switch back to 2 kill, reset. Gate crush can be faked by pressing F while hovering over the beacon. Fake teleport will play audio and portal visuals as if okay. I mean, this is gonna be insanely annoying, but we'll see. Teleport's beacon in game audio while traveling reduced from 22 meters to 12.5. Okay, that's insane. That's insane buff. That is insane buff. Time it, it takes for teleport beacon has decreased. Time it takes for teleport beacon has decreased from 1.5 second to 0 0.5 second. Am I stupid that I don't understand what this means? Is that the actual teleport time? So you go like faster and it's actually like a dash? If that's if that's what it is, then this is huge buff. This is absolutely huge buff. 500 milliseconds allows you to escape from situations. Like, it's in an actual dash. Like, that's huge. That That is huge. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. And it, combined with this, so people don't hear your TP that much, it's... Okay. Teleport beacon speed has been increased, which is also nice. Upon activating a fake teleport, the beacon creates a small deck holes on the floor. We have seen that, okay. The ult is now 10 seconds instead of 8. Your is not revealed to enemies. Unequipped delay time increased from 0 0.6 to 1.2 seconds. So... So essentially, putting, uh, pulling out a Vandal... Pulling out a Vandal will take 1.7 seconds. Because there's nothing here about um, changing the actual equip time. Yeah, there's there's nothing here. So essentially, if you want to do a, the shorty trick, it's gonna take you... Like, look, shorty equip time is 750... Oops. 750 milliseconds. You divide that by 2 because of the fast equip time. And you add now... 1.2 second. So, equipping a shorty from the ultimate will cost you almost 1.6 second, which is, means you're dead. And um, equipping a Vandal now will be 
this plus this, which means equipping a Vandal is barely, barely slower than equipping uh, than equipping a short team. You can use your utility now in your old, but you need to think about it this way. You use your utility, you get out of your ultimate, and the, sh the actual flash is, if I remember correctly, 2.5 seconds, which means you have only 800 milliseconds, less than a second, to kill a player who was flashed. So this is going to be like heavily mechanically skilled dimensional drift now. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be good or not. All right, Ascent. B orb can now be taken from the lower box. Previously, you had to double up. Okay, nice. Ice box. Oh my god. There are going to be so many changes, man. That's go oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This um this is a huge buff towards the attackers here. Huge buff towards the attackers, but also the defenders as well. If the defenders, by some reason, are gonna be standing in this area here, it's gonna be easier for you to ambush. It's like th this is uh wait, is it the same angle? They moved this wall as well. Look. Oh, they increased. See this? Look. Look here. So you don't have a 50-50 like this. It's wider. So if you go like here, then you don't you don't have to go like 50-50. That's a that's a big change. That's a really big change. That's a really big change. And also, look at this. Look, look at this. Look here. See this? See this difference? Another huge change. Which means it's going to be tougher to play uh, yellow now. It's going to be really tougher to play yellow. Way tougher. Because of that. Because when you're going to stand yellow, you don't have one line of sight like this. You're going to have two line of sights to, to have that ability. Like, you know, you have, you, you're holding yellow like on the, on, the, on the right side. And, oh, jeez, that's a big... That's a big line. It's even bigger. You're going to be holding like this and holding like this. Which means it's it's tougher for you to hold the angle. Way tougher. Way tougher. Uh, okay, we already talked about this. Lul. Yeah, oh, we already explained that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a good change. This, this, this is a good change because it allows you to... Uh, it allows you to have like way more post plant uh, bro, positioning. I, I, got, I found a nice utility that you could use for the next patch. I sent it to you uh, on Twitter in private messages. Okay, I will check it Maybe after I finish the it. patch notes, okay? G give him a few Both moments. No all, all good, all good. So essentially, like, this allows you to be much more. Um, like, it's nice for both attack and defense. You can have better. Oh, that's another thick line. You can have better positioning defending this, right? You can also have better positioning attacking it because the jets can now like just dash somewhere here, you know, in the smoke, man, and bro, and then the player in yellow is like, uh oh, you can updraft in here and then like, oh. yeah, you can play chamber as well. So for defenders, it's also pretty okay. Um, this 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 is a lot of changes. Like this this is huge. This is absolutely huge. The way you're going to play both as attacker and defender is like completely different now, right now. And in in post plant, you don't feel entrapped because when when you had the previous uh, when you have the previous box, you 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 were feeling entrapped. Like you you can't play anything because you're always out in the open. Like if someone pushes yellow, right? You're already exposed. Like this line of sight towards like the, the, the top of container made you already exposed. Like you were never feeling safe when you played post plant on this side. So those are really good changes um for the B side. I really like this. And this is like uh 
This is like nuts. This changes like a new map. This changes everything. This is like completely new map right now. Planting on B is completely different now. Completely new site. Like you, 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 you don't have default spot now here. This is not the default spot anymore. You're, go you're not gonna plant here. This is my impression of Sage. Um, your default spot now for planting uh, is gonna be not right now, cutie. Uh, your your default spot for planting now is gonna be here. And also, look at this. There's no rope. You can't get to top of site without updrafting. Interesting change. That is really... And you barely can hide behind this. You're gonna, like... Your gun is gonna stick out or something. You can't really hide behind this. So this is, um... Really interesting. There is a rope? Am I blind? It's not shown? I mean, there's this, this ding-dong here. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's even a shadow here of the rope. Okay, they just didn't add it. Okay, well, good job, Riot. Um, okay, there is a rope. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just add it here, you know? So, there is a rope here, you know, my friends? There's even a shadow. Oh, here we go. Um, so you can go to on top of site. And, yeah. So a little bit similar to the previous one. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, fixed. We fixed it for right. We can send them the screenshot. Um, but yeah, this is completely different. This is this is a completely new site. Completely new site. And uh, sage wall for diffusal, you know. You plant in this spot. you plant here. This is the spike, you know? Like, ah, I planted the spike default here. TikTok, right? This is gonna explode. Um, this is gonna explode here. So, now Sage from the Defenders comes in and I was like, haha, I'm gonna be smarter. And she just walls off this. You know? Like, new meta in pistol. You just wall off this and sit in the cubby. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, very tough. Icebox is gonna be very tough now to play because people will not understand how to hold anything. Um, what else changed here? Ah, you can right because there's no bottom of sight now. There's no bottom of sight. And this is tighter. There's a small there's less space behind yellow. Okay. Okay, interesting. And you can be here, so it adds another angle that you have to check here, and but it makes it easier for you to attack. So this is a buff to attackers, actually. Um, oh my! Oh my! That is a huge change. That is absolutely huge. And I'm not sure who this favors. I'm actually not certain who this favors. This can be both good for attacking and defending, depending on how you play, how you play with your utility and, and stuff. It's, it's, uh... It, it's definitely different. It's definitely different. Like, this area here is, like, completely different now. Okay. Oh, they added a box here! Ah, well, that's huge. Well, that's huge. Now, there's no line of sight for sight here. Interesting. So, controlling mid is gonna be... I mean, this is actually a buff for the attackers. This is actually a huge buff for the attackers, because... 
And not exactly. It's both. It's like a double, double-edged sword. It's like a double-edged sword, but I like it. I like this change. It's very nice. It's very nice, my friend. Very nice. I like this change. Ah yeah yeah. Ah yeah yeah. Uh okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is a huge buff towards the attackers. That limits the angles that your opponent can be in. That that is huge. That is huge because normally you can stand here. Your head can be in so many levels, you know? Like your head can be in all of those points. You know? Now. Now the head can be. Oh Jesus, yeah, this is the head. Now the head can only be here. That is huge buff towards the attackers. Huge buff towards the attackers. This is a nice change. Quiet, please. Um, this is um, I'm actually not sure. Um, this this is a interesting change. It's both for attackers and defenders because you can spam through this, but it can also like hold angles more. But it's fully spammable. Why are you bullying me? But uh, unlucky as a viper, you're not gonna be able to stand on this anymore, you know. So unfortunate, unfortunate, my friends. Pipes completely different. Now you're not able to stand on top of pipes. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're not able to stand on top of top of pipes anymore. <gasps> oh my god! Attacking A set is gonna be tough, man. Now, because controlling pipes like this area here is like is so crucial for attacking and defending, and now it's like strictly favoring defending, in my opinion. Interesting. Oh. Okay, and you're not gonna get shot from King anymore. Well, that's something I don't like. You can't, I mean, pff, yeah. Unlucky. It allows you for safer rotations, but... I don't know, what is this? Doors for ends? I don't know if I like this. Like, controlling from King was actually pretty crucial. Eh. Okay. Competitive updates. Introducing initial testing of the new deterministic map system LATAM. The goal of the system is to increase the variety of maps that the players will encounter. If there are no issues, we can plan to activate the system explained below uh, for all the regions. Okay. Deterministic map selection for the blah blah blah. The system will look at maps players have played over the last five maps for that mode. The system will remove any maps that a player has played twice in the past five maps. The system will pick the last least played map. If all maps have been removed due to the twice played rule, those maps will be added back to the pool and the least played map will be picked. We'll see if that's going to be good. Bug fixes. Fix the issue where the enemies wouldn't trigger Cypher's tripwire in rare situations. Okay. Didn't even know that was a thing. Mm. Um. Fix a bug where Chambers teleport fails sometimes when cast immediately after firing the last bullet of a hand hunter. I swear I had this... I had this bug so many times and I thought I'm just... And I thought I'm just slow. I thought I was just always slow. That, that was happening so much because I play with low amount of bullets in many rounds, you know? Holy crap. Fix a bug where Chambers 2, the force would inconsistently spawn slow zones when firing at KO during no CMD. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. That's it. Good patch? I don't know. We'll see. It is what it is. It is what it is. Wait, what? Zyko sent me this. You missed the plant area? On B? It's almost the same. It's just added a little bit here. This is added as a plant area. But it do, to plant in this spot, you need to control backside. 
You can still plant B default? Oh, because it... Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 you can plant here. So you don't need a sage wall. You just need someone holding your angle here. Okay. That's actually huge. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah then my entire conversation about that was pointless. The default is still gonna be here, I guess. Although it depends. If you can get to here, I would play I would say plant here. If you can get to it. But this is gonna be easier plant in theory. 